gonna get annoying. <laughs> Welcome to Pop It Up! I am Danny Otto. Tuning with me as always, we have my good friend Ashley. Hi! And our best friend B! And it does me! He's got tie dye too! Woo! No! <laughs> no effing way! Do you really? <laughs> No. Is that really a tie-dye no. shirt? I guess maybe it is. Yeah, it still wow. counts! Dude. It still counts! We all got tie-dye for some thinking. weird reason. That's crazy. I never missed the memo. Yo, oh, that's insane. It look like a... Oh, um, point! <laughs> point. How is everybody doing tonight? I'm doing very well. A little, you know. Just, I, ha I, I haven't here. been drinking, so I need to start. Yeah! Cheers, everybody! Cheers, everybody in the population! Cheers, Pete! You should be drinking. You're done with work, right? No, I'm not. <laughs> no! No, can't say I am! <laughs> can't. Come on. This is why we can't have nice things. Oh, he's just a little guy. I'll drink double for you, Pete. How about that? Okie dokie. Oh, those are beautiful drinks! These are our Imperial Sours. We, we got to name this. This is the official drink of Poppin' Off. Trademark. If you come to... Yeah, um, we can't trademark it if it has Imperial Sours. This is a play on Star Wars. Why don't we be a little original here, champ? Imperial Sours, yeah. Ooh. There's not a drink named that. <laughs> Someone's a little touchy today. Jeez. Because that's the special. <laughs> wait, wait. I don't know. I feel like... See, I don't know what's going on. Like, Danny, you got your tie-dye t-shirt on. I, I don't know what you have a tie gang... Dye. Yeah, but I don't know what gang Ashley's trying to represent with that, like... With your headband on and I stuff like that. I always wear a headband. It's just, I think it's probably <laughs> hidden by, like, I don't know. And now it's a handkerchief head headband. Listen, I'm just saying, I can't walk around with a red one in my back pocket. I'm going to be like, yo, what's going on? I'm a crib. What are you blood for? Ooh, but then also, I'm bottom. white. <laughs> and that's my shirt glows <laughs> in the dark. Aspects of your ah, shirt gl yeah. glows in the dark. Exactly, the face. Yes. Face, face. That's, that's much cooler. How's your week going, P? What's up? What's popping? It is. It's here. The weather has been phenomenal here. Really? Um, you you, you live, live in California. California. No, it's never phenomenal. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. <laughs> Whips. Yeah. 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 Can't say I have any complaints, really. Roof over my head. Beautiful weather. Oh, I did, did see. Was that a dig at something that happened to me? By the way, you said I have a roof above my Ooh. head. <laughs> I hate you <laughs> so much. Oh, oh man. Oh, uh, man. You know what? I did, yo. I didn't know it. I did see a prostitute get solicited by a guy on a bike, and nothing was cooler than watching like a dude get a girl, and then like she hop on the back pegs and they take off. And I'm like, he's gonna why pay for sex. <laughs> why didn't you Instagram that or something at least? Like, take a video of this. I I need to see these things, like the weird things. It was like, in LA. it was 5:30 in the morning, which explains it was like the witching hour. And I was on my way to Griffith. I was getting in my zone. If by getting in my zone. You can kind of get an idea of how I treat my my time on the hill. I'm always a little bit out there. Your body's a temple. And I just want <laughs> exactly, and so I just I just wanted to enjoy my OG and uh, keep on trucking because I was like, oh, not having anything better than that. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> I didn't witness that. <laughs> I'm sure he had a great time on his puffy. Well, I can, it, like, because it, it wasn't like a real mountain bike. It really was like a huffy. Like, I, I could have had that when I was trying to learn how to ride a bike when I was thirteen. No yeah, way. I was thirteen. When it was like a Target brand, um, like bike. Listen, yeah, let's just keep knocking Target because they've at least at this point given up Ooh. on any form of sponsorship with us. <laughs> so yeah, like one of them cheap, one of them cheap bikes from Target. <laughs> Forty dollar things. <laughs> you know, those those cheap Target things. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have a lot to get to and not a lot of time to get to it. So stay tuned. We'll be back after this. Uh, we'll get in some... Uh, actually, we have a mystery box for the pop of the week. These are going to get weird. I am super excited. Everybody stay tuned to pop it up. We'll be back after this. Thanks. I think someone has a crush on you. Okay, who? Let's make a game of it. One of these is a lie. He's six foot four. He collects stuffed exotic birds. He spends his free time trying to save lives. Are you talking about Kevin? Yeah. He's a registered bone marrow donor. Last week he got a call. He might be a match. He's so cute. Oh, he is. You could be a life-saving match for a patient with blood cancer. Learn more at dkms.org. 
Have you ever wanted to have a fantasy expert in the palm of your hand? Or better yet, in the pocket of your khakis? Well, check it out. Now you can. It's the Fantasy Sports Radio Network app. Download it now to your phone. We promise no weird viruses, no strange tracking things. Just 24 hours a day, seven days a week of pure fantasy knowledge dropping all over your head. It's the Fantasy Sports Radio Network app. Stop being a weirdo and streaming it online. Get it on your phone. Take it with you everywhere you go. Yes, I'm in love with oh, I'm so happy about this. I am so happy. Wardrobe change. Hi, everybody. Hi. I already brought my wardrobe. Hello. 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 The guy in a suit. He looks like he's going to be working with uh, the Duke Cross team later. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Back to me. All right. So, big shout outs. To our number one fan, Martin. He's so bomb. He is. Regardless he's pretty bomb. He's doing. Actually, he's in Vegas currently at a poker tournament. Uh, he's watching us. So the po- I guess the poker tournament is done for today. But he's watching. He's in the chat. I know he's watching us. But he's at Vegas for a poker term- tournament. So, right <laughs> I he's at Vegas his for life. a poker tournament. Terminene. But <laughs> Terminene. <laughs> big shout out to Martin. Number one, good luck at the poker tournament. But number two, because... This week's pop of the week is actually from Martin. It's a uh, mystery box from uh, Pop Dungeon. It's called the Pop Dungeon on on all of their social. I, Chris, it's gonna it's got to be a long drum roll because I gotta I gotta cut a whole bunch of this box open as carefully as possible. Um, I wouldn't trust Danny with a knife or anything sharp. I yeah, ran with I these. I wanted to open it, but like... <laughs> I, I ran with these. <laughs> 27 seconds might work. He was um, running around with them in the studio. I was. To stop him. I was. I was. And I pointed them straight down. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so the, this, this uh, mystery box was from uh, a place called The Pop Dungeon. They're located in Vegas. But what they have is they have these online um, mystery boxes... And it shows you what the pool of, of pops you could potentially win is. Okay. And you pay money and you get two in a box. So, uh. <laughs> At least that drum thing. roll. He called the poop. What's in the box? 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 That was so anticlimactic. All right. First one we got is Raiden from Mortal Kombat. Oh, that's awesome. No way. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's right, it's right I there. love Mortal Kombat. There's Raiden. I once stayed in for like four days straight and just played it. <laughs> Ashley's this freaking out. the most excited I've ever seen Ashley. I know. Give her the pop. Give her the pop. Hold it. You are like a kid in a candy store right now. Give her the pop. Don't crush it. <laughs> yeah. I'm taking the scissors right now. Right now. Take All right, bubble. you gotta. You you mess that no, box up it. on live television. We're all the pop dungeon is watching. If you mess up that box, they're gonna be pissed off. I swear yeah, I'll take it out of my pop dungeon. All right, uh, you you ready with that drum? <laughs> yeah, I got the last one. Another one, another one. I'm sweating. You guys ready? We got Crash Bandicoot. That's so Ooh, dope. Can we one. just get, get? Oh my god! I'm we got two video out. game ones. If, if, oh, if it's the because, box. I know. <laughs> I don't know if it's because of the mystery of it all, but I'm just like, oh my god! Over well, we here, dropping a deuce in my seat. <laughs> I'm just. I'm more. I'm. I'm really excited about the bubble wrap. I know, right? It's nice bubble wrap. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. So wait. So it's called wrap. Pop Certainly Dungeon. Target doesn't it's called it. the Pop Dungeon. And, uh, dungeon. Yeah, you can order stuff online, or you can go to their physical location, which, actually, Martin told me to uh, announce this. They actually asked. Um, they're going to be leaving their physical location um, pretty soon. So right now, they're having a sale on uh, all of their, their inventory, so it'll be easier, I guess, for them to move. Um, right now, I believe it's 20% for all online purchases and 30% off for in-person pur- purchases. This is so cool. This is a good box. This is a good box. It's like so at least it wasn't like Muppets or something. Here, like, wait. This is a good box. I'm, I'm, I rarely. I'm gonna say give that, it back. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna give it back. Box. This is. I know. But right? Yeah. Here, Andy. Andy knew what I was gonna. 
Look at that. That Raiden one is so cool. I wonder if his eyes glow in the dark. Ooh. Oh my god. Anyway, I big shout outs. Over Raiden, so. Big big shout outs to the Pop Dungeon. Check out their their website and check out all of their social media. If if you look up um the Pop Dungeon on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook, it'll go you'll go right to them. Their location is in Vegas, but their online store pretty much I believe sells their entire inventory anyway. So you don't really have to be there. But right now they they are doing a sale. I believe the numbers were I think yeah. 30 oh, okay. It's 30% off online and credit card purchases and what? 40% off Oh, 40% off in in-store purchases. So if you see something online that you like, you can ask Martin to go buy it. Everybody, ask Martin to go buy stuff <laughs> cuz he's in Vegas right now. No, I'm just kidding. So, anyway, or you guys can go on our Twitter or just go into the Twitter verse and just start blasting that there's this awesome Funko Pop type show that would love a sponsor. Uh, they have a little guy with blue hair in, in there along with a girl that's right next to him and quite the savvy guy in Los Angeles um, that they are quite looking for sponsors savvy. desperately. <laughs> Quite the savvy one. And uh, we've already burnt many bridges uh, with uh, Target and Venmo. It's not many. And, um, and they Hot even, Topic. They don't even got this um, kind of no, bubble wrap. I have said nothing but Hot good Pop things about Hot Topic. Bubble wrap. I just... No, but mine I have wasn't not. even bubble wrap. Tomorrow's Pop of the Week is going to be from Hot Topic. So, I love Hot nothing Topic. bad about Hot Topic here. I love Hot Topic. By the way, did anybody notice I changed my shirt? Yeah, like it's the Grammys. I don't know why. I did bring it to <laughs> It's the Grammys here. I'm going to take you to my pop dungeon later. What if I changed my shirt every segment? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's really the Grammys. Then you would be the situation of popping off. Situation. I'm fine oh with that. Right. Mike, this is. You should. Anything. But you should, you should change your shirt every single segment and then let the sleeves get shorter and shorter. <laughs> I'll just start wrapping the sleeves <laughs> you up. You should like wear like that. a long sleeve shirt. Then a three-quarter sleeve shirt, and then it's a half sleeve, and then there's just no sleeves. And you're just like, what happened to Danny's sleeves? Uh, I don't know. And then we'll just time-lapse it all, and it just looks like it's just, he must have had a whole bunch of, like, I don't know. I think I the, he it. has, like, a tank top. <laughs> Then Martin, it turns into a halter. Martin, I corrected it, okay? I said 30% for online and credit card purchases, 40% in-store purchases with cash. Martin, I'm... <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing what producer Grant is asking me to do. I'm trying to be serious here. Big shout-outs to Martin. If you, guys, if you guys heard Pete's laugh, that was Mickey Mouse, by the way. All right. Anyway, big shout outs to Martin. Thank you so much for sending that. You were way too kind. Um, and go, go online, visit The Pop Dungeon on any other social media outlets. Um, and I believe it's thepopdungeon.com also. Martin, put it in the chat. If, if it is, I don't know. I'm not sure. But check out their inventory. If you're good friends with number one fan Martin, he's in Vegas. Maybe he can get you a better deal. Ash, can we, can we like, I guess, in between the segment, can we go ahead, since you're on fire with this, can we see how much those pops are worth? Oh, hell. You want to do that right now, and then we'll, we'll, talk, we'll talk amongst ourselves? I did want to make an announcement, um, sort of Funko related, sort of Funko related. Um... Can I? It, you think it's a good time to make that announcement, Pete? Um, I think we're doing the dun 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 dun. dun, dun. Yeah, I think you can make the announcement while Ash is looking that up and everything. Absolutely. I don't know what. What, what was that? We're like we're buying time while Ash is looking that yeah, up. Yeah, make yeah. the announcement. It's All right, Damn, there come is back a to me, Andy. The dark one too. Look, and my favorite kind. Yeah, but that's an eight-bit one. That's weird. I anyway, know. come back to me. All right, so. It is official. We've heard back from a con. We've been accepted for press passes to, drum roll please, Alien Con in Pasadena! Woo! Next week. <laughs> like... I just got an email from Alien Con in Pasadena that our press passes have been approved. I literally got it an hour before the show. Are you serious? No, <laughs> no way! So I can go. You can go. If I forward you the email, you can go. <laughs> forward me the email 
Can I, can, I take the, but can, I, can I bring on like two PAs for like your passes? I'm dead serious. What can the bring hell on, is like, that? Who does that though? Who what? approves the passes like a week before? Um, I don't know if you can take any PAs, uh, Pete, but I know I know uh, I entered my name, your name, and Ashley's name in. So that was it. So I think we can only match up if we have the name already in. ID. Okay, fine. Whatever. I will ride solo dolo. You're welcome. And uh, I'll take a lot of photos. I and expect. listen, if I get teamed up, guys, I am so sorry, but like, first opportunity to ditch this planet. <laughs> Deuces. This is what I expect. David Duchovny is going to be there. So, this is what I want, Pete. I want a video of David Duchovny saying, Hi, my name's David. You should be watching Popping Off on YouTube. There's something like that. Something to that effect. I need a promo from David Duchovny. Okay. Okay, can you do that? Like, that's the only... You have four days, four free days to walk around AlienCon. Dude, I am the only so thing you have to do. That. That's the only thing you have to do. One of those Just days. send me that email right now. I can't send it right now. I'll forward sure. it before we leave tonight. You have to fill out... You, you have to fill out a, a, a thing saying, like, where who you are and stuff, because I put the three of us in. But yeah. Anyway. Whatever, Nanu Nanu. I got you. <laughs> Raiden, right now, guess the look. I already uh, saw. Okay, Pete, you guess the value of Raiden. Uh, Raiden, right now. Mm -hmm. Um, well, can I can I get a hint? It's less than. It's less than Egon. fifty. It's less than Egon. Yeah. Uh, twenty four ninety nine. Nope, eight dollars. Eight dollars. I was gonna say it's divisible by that. <laughs> eight dollars. Eight dollar. And Crash is worth about the same. All right. more. All right. It was still, I, I mean, still pretty it was still awesome for, for the show. We're going to bring them every week. We, I, we should I, start storing them. I think still first time, it's still great. They're gamer ones. So they're, exactly. those, yeah, those I feel like we got a huge fan base. Right, right. I feel like we got, uh, that was like our, our box. It was, Raiden it was, was so all, cool. it was all video game related. It was our box. I'm still freaking out about Raiden. I know. And that's going on with Ashley. I don't know if it's coming back. But, uh, yeah, I don't think it's coming back. Thank you, the Pop Dungeon, and, and thank you, number one fan, Martin. This was awesome. You guys have good mystery boxes. Please. It was very cool. All right, so <laughs> tomorrow's that, show, <laughs> tomorrow's show, I am bringing in something from Hot Topic, and I'm very excited about that. Is it yourself? I'm not, I'm not from Hot Topic. <laughs> it's half his wardrobe. <laughs> All right, guys. Coming up after this, we've got so much Netflix and spill news. I don't know if we're going to get to all of it. We might have to do some of it tomorrow. But we've got a ton. Is this the Elvis version? Oh, I couldn't hear the lyrics. It was freaking me out. Anyway, coming back after this, Netflix and spill. Stay tuned. We're popping off after this. Are you new to Daily Fantasy? Are you a veteran? Either way, you can better your chances of winning money and lots of it by going to DailyRoto.com. Multiple people have become millionaires thanks to the guys at Daily Roto. Why not take advice from the experts? You can become a millionaire too. Just go to DailyRoto.com to rock Daily Fantasy Sports. Skix sneakers are taking over tailgates and alumni homes across America. Skix canvas high top, low top, slip on, and kids tennis style sneakers designed in officially licensed college colors and logos is a must have for every college fan's wardrobe. Fun, fashionable, and comfortable. Whether you're at the big game or watching the game at home, Skix helps fans perform better. Go to Skix.com and use promo code FNTSY for 15% off your pair now. That's Skix.com. Skix sneakers, the soul of a true fan. Welcome back into Pop It Off! I am Danny Otto. I feel like I need gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like just tripping on just so. Welcome back into Pop It Off! I am Danny Otto. Joining me is always my good friend Ashley. And our best friend Pete! <laughs> <laughs> 
I do. I don't know if they do. And I, I especially don't think the people that are looking through the glass at both Ashley and Pete doing this at the same time know that it's, no, he's gone now. He kind of just like drifted off to the side. But uh, yeah. Next time someone pops up, cut to me. Let me make awkward eye contact. <laughs> and it just like, I just want to just kind of just peer into their soul. Just he's staring at you. Wanna... He's staring at you right, right now. now. Yeah. To your right. Look to your right, to your right. Just a little bit. A little higher, like right corner. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's perfect. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Don't you have to help somebody out with like a, a tech I, issue? I was on the phone with him right now. I was like, hey, what's going on? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't help you out on that. No, no means no. No Ooh. means no. Listen, I'm sorry. Hashtag me too. All right. Me too. We have so much to get through. <laughs> To this. So I want to separate it into two parts. So there are so many trailers that got released. Let's let's maybe push that to the bottom because I want to react to all those trailers at the same time. Yeah. Let's let's just do new movie news right now because there's so much just news. Let's juice outside. Juice? Wait, can we talk about the Netflix thing? That's what I was gonna ask you to bring up first. Uh, actually. Cool. So, so we always bring up what's on Netflix and yeah. what we think new is exciting on Netflix and stuff. Right. And we do have a list of that stuff too, and we'll bring that up. Next, but Ashley found something super interesting. Yes. That, uh, would you like to, you, why don't you, yeah. you explain it? Okay. I was browsing the interwebs today looking for crap, and I found out that Netflix actually has a secret request page. You can actually, I'll, I'll, I provided the link on the rundown. You could try it. We, we tried it earlier. And you could request either a show from Hulu. You have three options that you could request. And it's pretty cool. It was actually only made available to the Philippines, but for some reason, whenever you actually press the link, it works for us. You guys to try your luck. Or we can actually do a poll. Can we do a poll? Yes, think I think that? we should definitely do, do a poll. Do well, we think? can't really make a poll unless we picked, like, four things and they could vote on it. So Ooh, what, what should we should we bring do, back? what we will Let's do... Let's pick genres. Yeah, we'll... we'll uh, I say we, we, the first step is we make a post and we let everybody suggest... All right. And then from there, we'll make we'll a poll. Send another one. Yes. Right. Like that. We'll do Mark. that. We'll do that as soon as... Because I know Martin's going to get on me because I always say... Why the mist? <laughs> yeah, what's why? the, Wait, what's the, the like... mist to come back? Go back to them. <laughs> <laughs> why do you have a strobe light? <laughs> what? Why the mist? There's so of, many of questions. Everything that you could ask to come back onto Netflix, the mist. Because they're like, listen, because because of M Night Shyamalan, they're like, you know what? Maybe we'll give that one more shot. And then did, you know, majority population is like, no, no. M Night no. did M Night do the mist? I thought that I was a uh, that was a uh, um um uh. What, what, what was the, it? The fog. The fog with Mark Wahlberg. I no the mist the mist was a uh, um. Who's the har the, the the author that does all the movies? Um, this is gonna drive me crazy. Somebody in the chat, please. It's okay. Rolling. This is gonna this is gonna drive me crazy because my dad has all this guy's books. I can't remember. It's gonna drive me nuts. Anyway, why the mist? Oh, he did the happening. Yeah, yeah, the happening was so dumb. Was that Stephen King? Stephen King did the mist. Stephen King was the mist was a Stephen uh, King book. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The Mist was a horrible movie. Yeah, it was. It was I saw it in theaters. I also saw The Happening in theaters. You really went to go see that in the theaters? Yes. Damn, that's sad. Yes. Damn, that's sad. Because my college had a movie theater right across the street. Oh, that's pretty dope. So though. I would just like, it would be like, all right, we got nothing to do. Let's go. Did let's... they have anything else? Like, was there a bar? Was, like, just yeah, a movie there were theater? a lot of bars. There were like two bars and a movie theater in the same. So you would just like drink and then go see a movie. And it was cheap. It was like four bucks. Sounds like a terrible situation. It was like four dollars. Like a lot of drunkies at the like midnight yeah. show. Like ah. Oh. Yeah, they never had new movies. Love this but I remember movie. seeing the mist in there. That's why, because they never had new movies. But it was like oh, three weird. or four dollars. Oh, weird. Yeah. Anyway, no, we're not. The mist will not be an option. We're not, not accepting that. I'm throwing that out. Yes, yeah, Stephen King. Thank you, Johnny Rico. Yes, yeah, Stephen King. Um, we're not picking the mist. Anyway, if you guys haven't tried it, it's like a sequel. Just saying. No, we're getting sponsored oh, from Rockstar. I'm in. I'm trying to get a sponsor by Rockstar here. I haven't even showed the thing. Yeah. I haven't showed it. Now I will show it. Rockstar. Tastes like Zico. It does. I looked at Danny because like, he bought it for me. And I looked at Danny like, what does this taste like? The can wasn't even open. <laughs> I was like, 
don't, don't even don't even start a What's rumor like on? that. <laughs> don't even start a I'm rumor kidding, like that. I'm kidding. You would never. Anyway, honestly. so because I know Martin is going to get on me, number one fan, Martin. I know he's in the chat <laughs> and he's going to say this because I always say we're going to post something. We'll post it after this show. We'll just make a posting and say, what do you guys think? Actually, you could do it during the show right now if you want to. I can't talk and type at the same time. I'm just, I don't have that kind of coordination. But Ash, not in the, not in the chat, but in the... I'm like, give me your pics. Pop, popping off uh, Facebook group. Popping off Facebook group. I mean, yeah. We'll put a post. And... Uh... <laughs> All right, so... Uh... Let's talk about something else. What else? What's going on in the Netflix world? In Netflix world. Did you, do you, are you guys interested in Dolly Parton? At all? Anything? Anyone? Worked with her sister once. Really? Yep. What's her sister's she name? She wants to be a cook. Dolly Parton's sister's name? Oh, God. <laughs> you worked with her! Years ago, dude. I think it's Stella. Stella or Willa Dina. I, she has a bunch of sisters. <laughs> I think I worked with Stella. Stella's the cook. All right, There's well... Rachel... There's a bunch of... Hold on. Let me, let me... Magical things of Google. All right, while you're looking that up, come back to me. All right, there's going to be an, an eight-part Dolly Parton Netflix uh, series, and it's what? it's going to be about Dolly Parton. You know Drunk History did that? It did, like, an episode on Dolly Parton and, like, how she, like, rose to fame. I, awesome. I fell off of uh, Drunk History. I really I liked it. Drunk History. I really did like it. And what's funny is I I liked a lot of the comedians that did the stuff, like, right, did the reenactments well and known. stuff. Yeah. Well, no, even the, the, the lesser known, like... Mm. Um, Kanane was in it. I, I, I really used to like uh, Kanane. He was Kyle good. Kinane. Yeah. You know Kyle Kanane? Yeah, my friend, my friend directed his uh, special. Really? Around the Just keep fire. name dropping yep. Pete. He's like, yeah. He's, I, I, I think he's really funny. I listen to his <laughs> podcast, by the way. I think he's really funny. He's really funny. Yeah, he is. He's like, he's one of those people that's really funny, but they don't try to be funny. It's like him telling a story about complaining about something and it's funny. I oh, like that I kind of to be that kind of funny. Yeah, I like that kind. Of, like that's my favorite kind of funny. Yeah. Yeah. So, but anyway, so uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm still looking up images of Dolly Parton. I didn't realize how stacked she was. All right. Dude, she's mega. Season stacked. six of yeah. Orange Big is the Mac. New Black is coming out. Okay, so I stopped watching like after the second or third season. Unfortunately, I did too. I don't know why though. I think it's because they took like such a long um, duration, like a, a gap, like a break. I think they did like a year and a half, and it kind of like threw me off. Well, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. What's I think name. I know why. Um, it just it got different. Like it it it's almost the same thing that happened to me with um, uh, The Walking Dead. I was season one, season two, for it. Even season three and into season four, I'm like every every Sunday I'm watching it. Bam! I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna catch up. I'm gonna, you know what I mean? Right. And then somewhere in I was I believe it was the mid season of uh, season four. I was just like I, I fell behind, and then I got a full season behind, and then I just never watched it again. I just feel like maybe it has to deal with like uh because it it tends to have like a reoccurring theme or a reoccurring setting. I feel like my mind tends to get pretty bored when it's just confined to the same space, and they're just confined to the jail, and Walking Dead is confined to like the. No, Walking Dead went everywhere, and they started really? doing different stuff. Yeah, I, I just like feel like it's just... over and over again. It just, it just, no, it, 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 it panned out like crazy. I just feel like it, I just, I don't know, I just fell off from it. Lost interest. Yeah. I I'll have still, a weird thing with zombies, so I can't watch it. I'll still go back and watch season one. I'm still like, yeah, that was, that was great. But that's about six, it. Like, you won't invest episodes. any more time. Yeah, I mean, the sixth episode story arc of season one is great. Like, I, I'd watch that whole season over again. I still don't like zombies. Can I tell you what I have been watching and it's not on Netflix? What? My roommates <laughs> have started getting me into uh, Jersey Shore, the new season. <gasps> what? Okay. <laughs> Wait. No, I can't make fun of you because the other day, for some reason, I stumbled upon it and I just started watching it too. And it was like the episode where, what's his name? Not Mike, the other one. Um, Ronnie. Like he just. I hate Ronnie. I know. He's like. <laughs> he's like so sloppy. He's so sloppy. He's like, oh man, I can't do this anymore. And it's like weird. Like Mike, the situation has his, like his things together, even though he's about to go to jail. But still, he's the most good. <laughs> Pete's dead. <laughs> you know, Pete. Pete, I, I'm with you on this. I swear, I'm with you on this. When I say, I'm. I'm so disappointed in myself. Me too. That I've been watching this and laughing. 
uncontrollably because at of the moments. three of them because of like mike no um, it's just it's just a train wreck it is yeah it's like yeah. the train wreck but you want but like it's everybody you want to see destroyed in life like all the bad people like hitler and all of them you want to see them in that train wreck and you're laughing you're you're just laughing at it believe me I'm not happy that I'm watching it. And I'm not happy that while I'm watching it, I enjoy it. I'm not. And I'm not happy that I'm talking about it right now. I just want to know what happened to Snooki's mouth. It's like four it's inches. Collagen. Long. It's like four inches. It's like down it's here. It's collagen like implant. She can ba barely hold it up. She's like, <laughs> Did I tell you I almost ran into her at Sirius? No. Like, no. Ran. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. It was about. Two, two you and a half years ago. You spray tan all over you. It was about, I know, you would have gotten like spray tan two, all over you. It was about two, two and a half years ago when uh, Chris, producer, producer Chris and I used to work at the, the early stages of this, of this uh, network. Mm. Uh, they used to simulcast at Sirius for a morning show. And uh, I, would st I would work my job late into the night and then I would just eat and take a nap at Sirius just on a couch. And then, then I would work the morning shift because it was like two, three hours. I wasn't oh, going to go yeah, home for yeah. two hours and then come back. Two, three hours. And then I would just be so out of it. I'd do the morning show and I would just stumble around because um, I had then would go to another, another shift after right. that. And so I was like eating breakfast and uh, I got up and I, I was getting my bag on and I went to like just turn. And as I turned, like if I had waited probably five more seconds before turning, I probably would have just like winged her oh uh, you should have like, it was just one of those things where i just went how what? tall is she is she like no she's shorter than me danny's oh, height you that's why you want to know who else is shorter okay, than so me Pete, that's why i wanted to really ask but danny i, I wanted to like you lied into it. no no pitbull i can see over pitbull's head <laughs> yeah but you know what Snooky. Snooky. i want to get a chihuahua what? named Snooky. and his name or danny they're danny why I, get a little, I think Danny, if we, if we had to pick a dog, no, Danny, Danny would be like a little corgi. Yeah. No, no, I want to be, I want to be, oh, did you see the, the no, corgi be, mixed with, with the, the husky? Butt. Did you see the corgi mixed yes. with the husky? You it know? looks like a, a mini, husky. it looks like a mini wolf. I, I would be that. You know, I actually own my same block of my neighborhood. There's a guy who has a, a corgi husky mix. No, yeah. corgi uh, shepherd mix. Oh, shepherd. So no, it looks the, just the like husky. a little, it looks like a miniature version of a shepherd. I'm like, oh my god. Damn. The, the, <laughs> Damn. <laughs> the, the corgi husky looks like a mini wolf. It looks like a wolf with legs like this. The shepherd is cute. And it has like the little legs and it's like chunky. Yeah. God. See what I mean about not getting through movie news that fast? Like, we, we have so much more for what tomorrow. What kind of dog would Sorry you be, that, Pete? Guys. What kind of Can dog I, would I be? I want to know. We got less than 30 uh, seconds. Terrier. I would, I would be a bull terrier. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> Quick. The target dog. Um, you, it's like, like, the, like a mini like adorable toy poodles. The poodles? That's exactly what Bavona like, just said. Yeah. Oh All right, guys. He yeah. did say Toto from Windows or Die. All right, guys. Coming back after this, we got hashtag trending. We have so much else to get to. We don't have any time. So I want to talk about Coco. Want a chance to win two tickets to a 2018 World Series game? Go to dailyrotocom slash DKMS. There you'll find a link to a free DFS baseball contest every day. The contests are sponsored by DKMS, and they're looking for your help in the fight against blood cancer. For many patients, a bone marrow transplant is the best chance for survival. Find out how you can help and play in free DFS contests with a shot at winning two tickets to a 2018 World Series game. Go to dailyrotocom slash DKMS. That's dailyrotocom slash DKMS. It's popping off. You guys can go on our Twitter or just go into the Twitter verse and just start blasting that there's this awesome Funko Pop type show that would love a sponsor. They have a little guy with blue hair along with a girl that's right next to him and quite the savvy guy in Los Angeles. They are Why looking for sponsors so desperately. We've already burnt many bridges with Target and they Hot even, Topic. They don't even got I have said nothing but good things about Hot Topic. Watch live on the FNTSY YouTube stream. Welcome to Jurassic Park. <laughs> every time that gets funnier and funnier every time. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, you can cut that. Welcome back into Poppin' Off. I am Danny Otto. Joining with me as always is my good friend Ashley. And our best friend Pete. Totally me. Totally me. I just want to make, I have to make a quick confession because we, we, we flew through Netflix. Um, but Coco. I've been hearing I, about Coco all this time. I still haven't watched it. Hey, Coco's on Netflix? Oh my God, dude. Yes. Oh, it's on, That's it's on why Netflix. Blue it was talking about it. Oh my God, I, I gotta go watch it. No. Oh my God, I watched it, <laughs> watch it five times since. No, six times. Six times since Saturday. I've cried every single time. Really? It is a beautiful movie. My Ooh. nephew was like, Uncle Bean, are you crying? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> Of course I'm crying. It's a beautiful movie. But it's like, I was like, No, man, it's, you just don't get it. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I am mad at funny. my father. You don't know my emotion. <laughs> Remember me. <laughs> you're not mad at me. You're mad at your father. You're not mad at me. Mad at your dad. You're right. I hate my father. Um, but no, dude. It is. I I recommend it. I totally recommend it. It's such a beautiful movie. It's so good. It's a, it's a family movie. At the end of it, you're gonna be. You're just gonna be like. Mom. Dad. Oh. <laughs> Dad. I love you. I love you so much. All right. All right. Can I can I <laughs> can I drop a bombshell on uh hashtag trending? Do it. All right. We're all moving to Vermont. Yeah. There's like zero crime there, so <laughs> I'll be happy. Do you I just wanna know, to know why we're moving to demographic is there? Do you wanna know why? If I fit in. What's up? Vermont will pay you. Ten thousand dollars to move there. What the heck? To move to Vermont. Why? What is it? Or like, what's going on with them? Vermont will tell you, will pay you ten thousand dollars to move there and work from home. Why? I don't know. It was on the the, the thing. They have a, a remote workers grant program effective uh, January first, two thousand nineteen, that will help covering moving. Living and working expenses. What? The grant can be used for relocation, computer software and hardware, broadband internet, and access to co working space. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> I got too excited. I hiccuped. I thought that was a sound effect <laughs> that Ramona did. <laughs> I got so excited. I hiccuped. <laughs> so, we move into Vermont? Everybody! Yeah! The entire population. <laughs> It's pretty. It's safe. The last like murder or crime was like in the eighties or something. We would definitely be the scariest people there. We would like they would probably think I'm a thug. You like, know what would be funny? You <laughs> like know what would be funny? Push drugs. We should just get us and and everyone else in in the population chat to just buy like all the houses on a street, and we'll oh just call God. it like Pop Off Avenue, <laughs> <laughs> and we'll all work from home. We'll be like, hey, tonight we're going to do the show at Pete's house. And that will be, we'll do that show. And then we'll be, really? the next day we'll be at Ashley's house. That's so cool. And then we'll come over and hang at Martin's house for we'll a do, party. And then we'll do a block party. Yeah. Like every summer. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. I'm excited. I'm we'll excited. have the, the popping off neighborhood watch. Let's arrange it. Let's <laughs> arrange it, please. Johnny Riki will be like the, the security guard. Just walk around like, and everything's safe. Strong style said he'll move to Vermont. I wouldn't move. Strong style, you're in California. There's no way you're leaving California. Pete, are you muted? No, I'm here. Oh, okay. Just I was just starting to sweat and having to be like, oh, there's a fire at work. Got to put it out. Got to put it out. <laughs> um, sorry. Sorry. I'm right, out here for him. Strong style just asked, are there any Asians in Vermont? Well, uh, that's my question too, Strong style. I mean, I'm like, is there any Hispanic people there? <laughs> Like, am I going to be, like, the darkest person? That's there? why we're going to buy a street. Exactly. It'll be our block. If, if each of us get $10,000 to Whoa, relocate yeah. there, <laughs> and we just all get all the houses on the street. We're the most diverse block on, in Vermont. It'd be the greatest Vermont block ever. It would. Yeah. I think we do yeah, it. I it think we do so it. cool. It's not even funny. I'm actually following you on this one. Yeah. yeah I am. Right. I'm like, yeah. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so to inform us of uh, the solo movie is the first Star Wars flop in box office history, oh. and now they're saying that it's because of the marketing. It is. Was it? I mean, 
I didn't see anything lying in the market. Like, what was wrong with the marketing? There wasn't any. I feel like there was a lot. Oh, I never see. I never saw anything like regarding Solo. Rarely, unless I stepped into a movie theater. To be honest, I didn't see much. Not even freaking Donald Glover. He didn't even push it that much. To be honest, he was he was on SNL advertising it. Eh. But then Ryan everyone Reynolds got wasn't distracted. On- everyone got distracted by his album. Well, not his album, but his song. Yeah. Right. But you so can't you say go. that marketing was the problem because he he was on SNL I mean, talking what is about solo. What is marketing supposed to do? Bring attention and awareness and bring customers in, bring some money in. Didn't do any of that. In fact, people hate it now for no reason. Mm-hmm. I feel like people were going to hate it no matter what. No, not at all. Not yeah, at all. Movies, movies unload so much money into marketing that you, it really is like a huge... I don't think they put that much in. I think they were banking on it being Star Wars. Like, yeah, I want to say it it's... Um, what, they fell on the what, namesake oh for sure. The new Blumhouse movie alone, I just found out through a friend, they had $15 million alone in marketing. Do we know the budget for Star Wars? Let me search that up. Yeah, why don't you look that up and we'll talk. I'm curious about that. But but here's the thing. Did it just look like it had a low amount of marketing because Infinity War and Deadpool just went... So You keep looking up. I saw you look up. You you, You do what you're doing. Um... Did it just have a lower marketing presence in comparison to Infinity War and Deadpool 2? Because Deadpool 2 went over and above because they knew they were coming out right after Infinity War. Like, I mean, you couldn't walk... No, I think they, I think they had a lower marketing... I think they had a lower budget because they were banking on this being Star Wars. So the budget And they're was, like, ah, whatever. The budget for that film specifically was about 306. I'm losing you in in the in the microphone. Are you really? Yeah, every I'm like in a while. kissing it at this point. Yeah, now you sound okay. Disgusting. But when you when you I when might you have to up, sanitize this after a while. Should. But when you back up, I can't hear you anymore. But but what was the marketing? Three hundred. No, that's not the marketing. the The budget for the actual film was three hundred and six million. Budget period. But can you get the marketing budget? I'm trying. They're kind of just asking. I don't think they're gonna have a breakdown of it. I don't think they're gonna be like, hey, guess what? We're gonna give you our entire <laughs> game plan. <We're> not, no. <laughs> but I mean, so you know. How much we pay the actors? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. uh, um, but I they were banking on that being Star Wars. They had, they, I mean, it wasn't as big. I mean, L.A. alone, everything had a Deadpool on it, right? Like I, I saw a couple solo things, but I saw way more Deadpool stuff. I saw way more Infinity War stuff. Um, I think Star Wars. They were just really banking on. You have a fan base built in since the seventies. Uh, Johnny Rico just and, said and, something in the. Uh, sorry to cut you off. Johnny Rico just said something that was pretty interesting. He said, "Solo with all the reshoots needed to make or needs to still make four hundred million dollars to not be a flop." Yeah. Now that's the other thing I didn't know, and it, I don't know if it was just me not looking into it because I I was really looking into everything surrounding Infinity War and everything surrounding Deadpool two, but I I wasn't really looking into solo stuff. Right. Um. I did not know that they had to reshoot a giant chunk of the movie. And also, the guy who, who was Vision that was playing kind of the, the bad guy um, throughout the movie, I did not know that he was not the original uh, guy for that role. Do you guys know that? No, but... No, I did not. The guy that was Jarvis's voice that went over to play Vision? Yeah. For, for the solo movie, he, he is one of the, the baddies in that. Um, mm-hmm. he was not originally that actor. The actor that was originally that actor or, or playing that role left and they had to do more reshoots. Bye, see ya. Yeah, he had to leave. It was some, I can't remember who the other actor was. I just saw like a video on it and that's why, not, not the prime reason why they had to do a bunch of reshoots, but I know that was one of the reasons they had to do a bunch of reshoots. Not to sidetrack, but I, I still can't find the marketing budget. But um, apparently Disney is completely understanding the fact that Solo flopped. So now they're banking on Mary, Mary Poppins Returns, which I didn't even know that was going to be released. Did you guys That's going to be exciting. Do you think so? I mean, I never really, I mean, it's not a surprise, but I've, I've never seen Mary Poppins, so I'm like, well, whatever. Go ahead. Yeah, I like Mary Poppins. I think it's going to be interesting. Um, it's, uh, isn't it John Krasinski's wife that's now, that's playing her? I believe so. Yeah, I think. Emily Blunt. Right. Yeah. Oh, um, I, I was really? never. I was. That's that's really? Jim Halpert's yeah. wife. He's always 
like she. Um, it seems she looks like Katy Perry. Just say Katy Perry. Yeah, like a British Katy Perry. It suits her, but. Yeah. Wait, Chris, is this I it? Think, are, yo, we, I... are we done? Oh, okay. Whew. I got scared for a second. I was like, oh. okay. all right, guys, we're gonna wrap everything up when we come back after this. I apologize. We did not get to a lot of stuff. Luckily, we have a show tomorrow. So everything oh, we didn't get to. Surprise, surprise. Everything we didn't get to, we're gonna get to tomorrow. All those trailers. All right, guys, come back after this. Stand by. Fan Control Football League is making fantasy football a reality. Like a real-life version of Madden, fans will vote on all personnel decisions and play calls in real time. And what the fan says goes. Visit fcfl.io to learn more. The FCFL, where you're in control. It's popping off. I just got an email from AlienCon in Pasadena that our press passes have been approved. Mothership hears you. <laughs> I and expect. listen, if I get into guys, I am so sorry, but like, first opportunity to ditch this planet, deuces. This is what I expect. David Duchovny is going to be there. So this is what I want, Pete. I want a video of David Duchovny saying, hi, my name's David. You should be watching popping off on YouTube. Anyway. Whatever, Nanu Nanu, I got you. <laughs> Watch live on the FNTSY YouTube stream. Everybody, welcome back into Popping Off. By the way, Pete, I have a message from your nephew. From the mothership? From your nephew. He said, tell my oh. uncle I said, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I did want to make one more announcement. Um, well, I'll make a couple of announcements, but we're going to wrap everything up. We, we don't have very long. We have about five minutes right now. Um, we are going to be on tomorrow. Uh, a little bit earlier, just one hour earlier, so 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific, for an hour, just like just like tonight, just an hour earlier. Um, all the same people. We're just going to go, basically, we're just going to, as if everything we didn't get to, boom, we do it tomorrow. There it is. Anyway, but, can I get a drum roll, Chris? There is one announcement I did want to make that I didn't get to make yet. Give you one second. That's... You're not even doing a drum roll. <laughs> <laughs> and you gave up. All right. My arms got tired. <laughs> Chris? There we go. Yay! All right. So I've heard from another con. We've been accepted for media passes to the 2018 New York City Comic Con! We got media passes! New York City! And I've heard there's a rumor that L.A. Pete is going to make an appearance live in studio. Yes. And at the New York City Comic Con. I will be there. I will be there. I will probably get dressed up for at least one day. <laughs> We can do that. You we can all to. get dressed up. I did up. last year. Don't, don't get on I me. Did, I've, okay, so I've my never roommate, gotten dressed up. By the way, big shout out to my roommate. She actually makes costumes and stuff for a lot of people who go to Comic-Cons. She, she's supposed to make me a Star-Lord coat because last year I was going to do Star-Lord and then we, we messed up and we didn't get it done in time. Can she make me oh, a Gamora? Let, let, I'll straighten let, my hair. Let me be Star-Lord. Let no. her be Gamora and you be Baby Groot. If you're going to pay to build that Baby Groot costume, I'll wear it. It's okay. We're not gonna do. We're not gonna do brown face because that's racist. <laughs> but um, we're gonna build you like a tree. I think this would be great. We can just do some. Oh, come on, you. You can just be baby Groot. We can. You can be baby Groot in a in a pot. So we'll have you walk around with a. Why box don't Why don't you. I be Star Lord and and? <laughs> Ooh. I think that's a great idea. I think everyone's already on board with I'm it. I'm for I, it. I'm, that's I, it. I would be Rocket yeah. Raccoon. That seems more plausible. Oh, yeah, dude, you could do that. All right, fine, cool. I'll just get, yeah, all right. You could be Rocket. Somebody help me do be Rocket. Anyway, <laughs> so we are going to be going to Comic-Con, New York City Comic-Con, all four days. We'll be here. So anybody on the East Coast, when oh, Comic-Con gets close, uh, Pete will be here in studio that Wednesday before Comic-Con. So if you guys want to come, meet up, hang out with us, have some drinks, we are in a bar. By all means. we get drinks. Yeah. By all means, guys, come meet up, hang out for the show. We'll bring you on the air, probably. Probably. I don't know for sure. Probably. Anyway, it's going to be a lot of fun. We're, we're going to definitely do a uh, pre-Comic-Con show with Pete live in the studio. And then the following week, we're going to do a wrap-up and, and kind of show everything we got into. We've got Pete and I, we're already like spitballing guests that we can try to go after. We're going to try to see how many people that are at Comic-Con that we can possibly talk into 
letting us do something. I will with do them. sexual things with all of them. I think that's because really, again, based off of last week's episode, I am sexually fluid. So listen, I'm down with it. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Talk to me. Tell me your name. <laughs> all right, guys. That about does it for tonight. But like I said, we are back tomorrow, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. Don't forget, brand new episode of Popping Off. It'll be our first Thursday night show. So we need you guys to come strong because uh, we don't want to be lonely. We don't want to be all alone. Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. Brand new drinks. Let's go. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay tuned. Did you post that in the group? I did. Awesome.